is in fact a closed set. Okay, so why is it a theorem? Well, let's, uh, let's see why. It's, it, it's perhaps not as obvious as it might first appear. Uh, and part of the problem is you want to show that this thing contains all its limit points. Uh, the set um, A bar contains all its limit points. But what is a limit point of A bar? Well, it's, you know, whatever some point is, let's say, so uh, if I want to show that A bar is a closed set, uh, I want to show that if, um, uh, if P is a limit point of A bar, then in fact it is in uh, the closure. Sorry. If I want to show A bar is a closed set, I want to show what? I want to show that A bar contains all of its limit points. So if P is a limit point of A bar, then P is an A bar. Right, that's what I want to show. So here we go. Let me draw a fictitious point P. And if you don't mind, I'm just going to blow this picture up because it might be useful here to um, just make this thing appear plausibly not true. So does everybody see that A bar is uh, the is uh, is the stuff is A together with this with the stuff uh, the purple extension here? Okay. And now our question is: If I take a limit point of A bar, is P in fact in A bar? So what does it mean to be a limit point of A bar? So consider a limit point, uh, consider P a limit point of A bar. Okay, help me out here. P is a limit point of A bar, meaning if I take a what? Neighborhood, some neighborhood or any neighborhood? Any neighborhood, it will contain a point of what? A bar. Do you see that? That might not necessarily mean it contains a limit point of A. That's the worry. You with me? But our goal, of course, is to show, so we want to show, uh, to show P is in A bar. Would, would we agree this is the, the goal? What does it mean for, to show that P is in A bar? We can either show that P is in A or P is a limit point of A. With me? Okay, so here's the picture that secretly can't happen. It cannot happen this way. Here's a neighborhood of P that uh, is uh, not a limit point of A and it's not in A, right? This is, we want to we, we show that in fact Anytime you take a neighborhood of P, if it's not already in A, then what? It actually contains a point of A. That's the goal. Everybody with me? Okay, so let's just do that. Tell me why, if I take a neighborhood of P, that it must contain a point of A. All I know is that it contains a point of what? of A bar, so let's start with that. So consider any neighborhood, consider a neighborhood N of P remember our goal. Our goal is to show that this neighborhood contains a point of what? A, if it's not already in A, okay? Um, point of P. So assume P is not in A. So assume P is not in A. If it is, we're done. Uh, otherwise, we'll show, um, well, actually, we, uh, yeah, so consider neighborhood, 
So our goal is to show that this contains a point of A other than P, right? If, if P is already in A, then we will have already shown P is in, uh, uh, in A bar. So assume P is not in A, we'll show P is in, uh, that N contains a point of, uh, of uh, A. Okay, so let's proceed. What do we know about N? N contains what? N is uh, a neighborhood of P, and P is a limit point of A bar. Therefore, N contains A, Willie? Good. So notice, since, uh, since P is a limit point of A bar, Uh, N contains a point. Let's give it a name. How about Q of A bar? Good. So let's give this a name here. We'll call this point Q, and it's sitting maybe right here. Happy? Okay, great. So we have a point Q of A bar. We're trying to show that this neighborhood N contains a point of a, do you see how we might do that? Yes. Yes, remind, remind me your name. Lindsay, yes. Good. Ah, interesting. So if Q's already in A, we're done. We found the point. Uh, the desired point. That's what Lindsay's saying. And otherwise, if it's not, if it's more like this picture, what Lindsay is saying is Q, uh, that N contains a what? Yeah, in fact, what she's saying is it contains a, a smaller neighborhood around Q that contains a point of A. So this is the, the claim. Why, why must there be such a neighborhood? Why must there be such a neighborhood? This point, we'll call it Q prime. I mean, all I know, of course, OK, so let's, let's start this argument out, and then we will uh, ask some questions. N contains a point Q of A. So if Q is in A, and not it, K, N contains a point Q of A bar, if Q is in A, we're done. We found the desired point. That was this point that we desired. In fact, if, if you want, maybe it's, uh, uh, it, I might give this a name. I'll call it Q bar, a Q prime um, set uh, Q prime equal to Q. Otherwise, if Q is not an A, Lindsay says there must be a neighborhood that does what? Well, Q is a limit point of a Q. If, if Q is not an A, then Q is an A prime, right? Q is the limit point of A. So if it's a limit point of A, it has a, well, what can I say? Every neighborhood, could be this one, a really big one, contains a point of A. But which neighborhood do you want to focus on? One contained in N in order to give us the fact that N contains a Q prime. Good. So then Q is a limit point of A. So choose. Consider a, um, what do you want to call this new little blue neighborhood? How about, yeah, I guess M prime. Um, consider uh, N of, um, uh, consider some N prime, a neighborhood 